Hello and welcome to Money Markets. I'm Paul Durans, Investment Director. Today we're going to talk about UK and the latest inflation report and how that is currently trending. This morning we had the latest UK inflation report. In recent months, we've seen inflation continue on a trend of lower price growth, which is encouraging. Remember, the Bank of England is looking to get inflation towards its 2% target. If we look at the details this morning, headline inflation continued to moderate from 3.4% down to 3.2%. And when we look at core inflation, which removes volatile components such as energy and food, that also moderated from 4.5% down to 4.2%. However, the report was slightly disappointing in that it was the inflation was stronger than expected. So it was 0.1% higher than consensus estimates on a year-on-year basis. If we look at more shorter-term measures of inflation, so if we take the last six months' uh, readings and annualise it for core inflation, we're at about 1.8%, so below that 2% Bank of England target. It's always important to look at the key contributors to inflation, and it's really the services component that remains remarkably strong. We only saw a slight moderation in the report this morning from 6.1% to 6% uh, for services inflation, and that's really coming through from the likes of household services uh, and, and transportation. Goods inflation is moderating at a much faster pace and that has been the trend uh, which is encouraging but it's that services aspect that the Bank of England will be uh, quite concerned about because services inflation often corresponds with stronger wage growth and that's what we found yesterday uh, as Matt discussed in yesterday's morning markets wage growth in the UK moderated from six uh, or held firm at around 6% when you exclude bonuses. So we're seeing inflation moderate at a faster pace relative to wage growth, but still above the 2% inflation target. I suppose encouragingly from a household perspective is that wages are still strong and it's uh, at a faster pace than what inflation is. So real disposable income levels are increasing, which should help fuel future consumption. If we think about just the broader message, message though, if inflation is trending lower and it's expected to fall over the next uh, couple of months, given the rollout of high base effects last year, we'll expect to see inflation perhaps fall below the 2% target, but it may be short-lived given the strength of inflation over the last couple of months and the strong wage growth pressures, which may mean that the Bank of England are more hesitant in terms of cutting interest rates in the coming months. Also, an important development yesterday was over in the US. We had Jay Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve, in charge of uh, setting interest rates in the US, really change its narrative and its uh, perspective on the trajectory of interest rates for the rest of this year. For the first three months of the year, we've seen US inflation surprise to the upside. And despite that, the Federal Reserve, the US Central Bank, has been quite firm and uh, acknowledged that inflation is often bumpy, but the trend is still towards 2%. There was a change in language from the Federal Reserve and Jay Powell yesterday. They actually recognised that inflation and the labour markets have been much more firm and stronger than initially thought. And as such, they're less convinced about cutting interest rates this year and needed to wait more time uh, until uh, acting on that. So certainly something to watch for in terms of the UK inflation and for the US And we'll keep you up to date in the coming weeks. That's all from us today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.